This is Blender, and I'm going to be making two morphing words, words that morph into one another. And it's going to have a really nice looking effect. It's fun to show off, and it's a great beginner's project. So let's get started. I'm going to click General, and I can actually get rid of this cube right away. So Object and Goodbye Cube. Okay. With that gone, we do need to add text. So I'm up here. I'm going to click Add, and there we are, Text. So I can't edit this yet. To edit text, you have to be actually in edit mode. So I can't change up the words at all. Now edit. Now I'm gonna delete it and I'm gonna do cold and warm. So I'm gonna start just typing C, C, O, O, D. Oh, you don't want like lowercase, right? You want uppercase, C, O, L, D. It's great, okay? And now let me head to object mode. In object mode now, I'm gonna go to Object data, all right? And in object data, we're gonna click on geometry. And in geometry, I'm gonna make this a one for extrude. Awesome. And now we need to rotate it flat. So to do that, click on right here. And this is gonna be 90 degrees. Great, all right. Well, that's looking really good. Now we will need a second word. So I'm gonna click off and actually you wanna have it selected and then object and duplicate objects. If I pull it off here, you can see it. Okay. And I'm going to, well, I'll mess with that later. First, we wanna change up the word. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and change Z to 90. Okay. And I'm gonna click on that and go into edit mode. And all caps again is the best way to go about this. Object mode, awesome. So now I'm gonna actually want this at zero, zero, and zero. Okay, now let's make sure, yep, that's at all zeros too. It's looking good. And we need these to be roughly the same size. So if I look at it like this, I'm going to extrude this out a bit and then size on that. Okay, something like that. And I'm gonna click on that. And I'm gonna make this a bit smaller. So maybe for Y, 0.96. And I'm gonna move it up a bit. Maybe even point I two, All right? We just need to make sure that this fits in within the other one. Okay. But you want it just barely. So that is, yeah, that is looking pretty good to me. All right, I'm gonna zoom out. And now we are going to do, click on one object, convert to mesh, click on the other object, convert to mesh, okay. And now that you have done that, you're gonna click on one of these guys. I'm gonna select warm. I'm going way over here, add a modifier. What modifier? I need a Boolean, I wanna do intersect, and I'm gonna do text. And now, let's make this disappear. And that looks really weird and really awful, but wait, wait, wait. We're gonna go over to context, normals, 
auto smooth. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Now there's several things we want to do to this. So let me go back to my modifiers. I need to apply that. All right. And now I'm going to delete a lot of these extra letters. So let me zoom out. I'm going to go to Z mode here. Edit. Okay. So I am in vertex mode. And what I'm going to do, well, I should stay like that is I'm just going to start um, uh, deleting everything that's not in this path. So I'm going to do a diagonal word. So that means this one will have just that letter. So make sure you're in, right? And then, and then mesh delete faces. There they go. Now this one's going to have just this letter. So we'll only take out these first two mesh delete faces and this one's just going to have this middle letter so i can't really there we are it's harder to see that one mesh delete faces great all right and now we need to get rid of this first three here. Oh, it's really hard to see the W. Right, like that. Yeah, we're gonna wanna get rid of this W. And then, this first row actually won't need any of this stuff. So we can go ahead and get rid of all of it. Um, these two letters. And then this letter. That looks pretty awesome. And so now what we can do is unwrap and paint. So with it all selected, let's go ahead and do apply location, rotation and scale. Okay. Um, edit mode. And now that I'm in edit mode, you do want to do select all, and then you want to go to UV, smart UV project. Um, no, I like this at 0 0.03. Let's hit okay. Awesome. And that should do that. Let's go to texture paint and let's add a texture. Base color. I usually do something more like this. Okay. And now I can start painting my words. And what's really fun is since we have it like this, the goal now is going to be make the words cold, cold, and the warm, warm, word warm, well, warm. So we'll have to kind of decipher where that is. But then we'll have a pretty awesome 3D word art image that we can show off. 
make something really cool maybe do it with your name even there's all sorts of stuff you can do this make something really cool make sure to comment below if you are still watching make sure to hit like hit subscribe it gives me warm fuzzies and helps the world ta-da